our 29 Whipple LS has been evolving over the years. Uh, so uh, if you could share with everybody uh, kind of what we're doing now. Well, I guess the key uh, difference is we start with a Dart SHP Pro block, uh, fill it with all the goodies. Uh, we have a Cali's Magnum crankshaft with a Cali's Ultra Rod, a Diamond 2K piston. Uh, the major differences being the uh, anything above a thousand horse are now getting fitted with an all pro cylinder head along with the comp shaft mount rockers and they are now topped with the fast XR series coils. Okay, well, a couple of fine points on that. I guess one of them uh, is uh, just with the SHP Pro Block, that's really overkill, but. Yeah, uh, yeah a little. Uh, a little overkill, I think, for this particular build, but uh, something that we don't like to skimp out on. Yeah, and it comes down to it allows us to minimize the amount of uh, parts that we're using, just focus on having the best ones on hand to do whatever we want to do with. Another big piece is the uh, the center counterweighted crank. Uh, if you could uh, give uh, uh, the fans out there a little idea what the benefits of the center counterweight are. Yeah, so with the center counterweighted crank and... Uh, now being able to tear in the season freshen ups and things along the li those lines uh, what we've noticed is the two and four main saddles suffer a lot less over you know a high horsepower build they don't flex around the crank is able to maintain its balance uh, and you're just offered a lot more strength and rigidity in the crankshaft. Yeah, so you have the uh, the double benefit of the first is that the uh, uh, extra counterweights reduce the harmonics and the crank itself is stiffer, so the harmonics that are there don't cause the flexing, which Tim sees as the uh, uneven wear. Uh, on the bearings. Uh, then uh, moving up, uh, these heads are not just your off the shelf. Tell people a little bit about the, uh, the port work you've done on these. Yeah, so we get these heads in raw as a porter casting and we're able to stick them in our five axis CNC machine, uh, put a pretty radical uh, port in it, something that's not too big, uh, moves just enough air, especially when you top it with this uh, 2.9 liter Whipple, we're able to create pretty stellar numbers. Yeah, and it comes down to there's a, a difference between what you would do for an NA uh, uh, port job compared to a, a Whipple supercharger sitting on it or any other kind of boost. It, uh, you know, it, it's really a different animal, and uh, you know, this would look quite a bit different than if you got a set of NA LS7 heads from All Pro. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some key differences. Uh, obviously, we'll keep that to ourselves and keep it in the back pocket. Uh, that's what keeps us uh, pushing out big numbers and supplying the uh, world, really, with great engines. Yeah. Well, thanks, Tim. And, uh, yeah, so basically what you're looking at is the current state of the art. Uh, this one, uh, uh, we uh, just uh, finished the dyno. It is still warm, uh, which is great on a cold December day. And it's not so cold. But uh, uh, how many horse did you squeeze out of this one, Tim? Uh, we were able to get 1092, which uh, I think we're all happy with. The customer is very happy with, uh, as always, uh, ready to go out the door with a bunch of power. <laughs>